a quick vid here on drone strings. Uh, first of all, anyone watching this, apologies if my previous videos, my previous videos, it's been a bit dark. Something, you know, if you're trying to see what I'm doing and it's like half light, but I film this in my study and I don't do daylight <laughs> in my study. That's why I've always got the curtains drawn. Anyway, so sorry if it's been a bit dark. I've turned on the main light and my desk light here. Drone strings. Uh, yeah, as very sort of hawk windy. Especially Lemmy era. Le Lemmy era. Lemmy era. Lemmy era. If you listen to the live, especially the live ones, and they do these great sort of big, it wasn't so much a series of songs, it was just one song. With those sort of bridges and these great sort of three hour marathon jams when they were completely off their heads on whatever they were taking. You can kind of smell the cannabis. And it saw Lemmy doing these sort of very sort of ethereal type. Um, drone string riffs uh, usually it's the pentatonic so let's start let's do it in uh, uh, in D so let's start so we're going to play the open D and let's do the uh, the drone the octave on the D so again using Lemmy's influence he used drone strings loads in Motorhead but I'll keep this mellow, a bit mellower in Hawkwind. So it's just kind of, uh, it's find the notes you like basically, it's kind of not, almost like a not a wrong or a right. Same with the fingering, you, you can do it with one, just one finger. Sliding up and down. And going down. Like that, or... Uh, say starting with the, the open D, and going to the octave D. And then let's get let's use all the fingers on that little run there, four notes. So seventh fret on the G, ninth. Let's go to this, the eleventh and the twelfth fret. So we're going. about the actual picking whether it all turn it or down just all down so that's just all down with strokes oh, I've broken the tip of my plectrum there so got another one or all turn it yeah, so I guess they're just the downward stabs of more of a sort of urgency about them. And the alternate is just smoother. And that one, two, three, four, that starts getting every finger in play, especially that little finger which can sometimes get neglected. Uh, so that's getting every finger in. So let's get slow. And up, down, let's do up, down. So, every finger and alternate picking. If you find out too much of a stretch and just slide. And, oh sorry. Slide in there. Little slide, but lining up every finger. And then, and then what you do there to carry it on, if you want to count going up, is you've got to slide that first finger back, then you've got every finger set again.
sometimes hitting, so there's no right or wrong, so sometimes hitting not the notes I'm playing usually, but there's kind of like a minor third instead of a major third, stuff like that. It really is just playing with it. Maybe just use one finger slide up and down, and then you can start bringing the other fingers in. Or let's say use a little finger to strengthen the little finger. Let's do that. That's right. Just all that was all upstrokes. I'm always looking at uh, when I try and teach, such as I'm able to, um, is to kill not two birds with one stone, multiple birds with one stone. Just use as many, get as many techniques in there as you can, or make you know one, one or two, uh, two techniques. So let's say using a little finger strengthening it and just all upstrokes. <laughs> And it's just all downstrokes and all downstrokes and using all four fingers on your fretting hand, whether it be uh, left or right. Like so. Slight. And with that exercise, with that star there. Be quite uh, strict with yourself, because if you make like something like you make a mistake, it is, and you don't sort of come back and correct it. It will manifest itself as a bad habit, and then you have to unlearn it later on, and that takes a lot of time. Whereas when you're just starting out, it's just... once you nail it, it's okay. That's drone string there. So I focused on the D. I don't want to go too long. Let's just count to eight minutes again. I also want to make them five minutes, but they seem to go on. But you can do, yeah. That's quite nice. The A. There's your octave. Sort of seventh fret. Uh, he's all right. Anything using the the bottom E. It tends to get start to sound a bit muddy, as it were. It's a bit low there. I've turned up. Usually I've got the gain up on this, but I've turned the gain down. So I hope it's not too low. I hope it's coming through. So that's just drone strings, and it really is just a matter of preference, sliding up and down, finding what notes you like, what you, what you don't like, what works for the songs, etc. So that's just a bit of drone strings on the bass. All right, cheers.